Goldman Equipment Company. We're not just in your field, we're in your backyard. This video demonstrates on how to use the terracotta surveying elevation data with a John Deere 2600 or 2630 for ditch track mode for digging ditches off of elevation data. Once you have your elevation survey data imported into terracotta and have your ditches drawn and then exported for a John Deere display, in this case we're using a 2630, just simply put the jump drive into the side of the display the data transfer screen will appear in this case we want to import the data written out of the terracotta software we hit import we will select the profile name that we saved in the terracotta program in this case the Im import file name is Goldman once that is selected we will hit begin transfer we will hit yes and it's importing the data once the importing is complete we will get the data transfer complete screen in this case we will we will hit accept or remove the jump drive and we will hit the home button and we will select a client select a farm we will select a field which was all been pre recorded in the terracotta software and in this case our tracking mode needs to be ditch track once it's in ditch track we'll get the uh, auto track warning message we'll hit F to continue and then you can see all the ditches that we created off of elevation data in terracotta are now displayed on the screen if you had this field boundary boundaried, it would show up as a pink line surrounding those ditches. So simply what we need to do now is, is hit the ditch track name. In this case, we have five ditches in there. We're gonna hit surface drain number one. It's going to highlight in blue the ditch that we need to go to. And then we turn our steering on and we will now drive to the ditch as you can see we are moving to find the ditch that we selected and we will get close to the ditch making sure that our auto track is on once we get within five feet of the ditch we select the resume button on the auto track and it begins to follow the predefined ditching line that we made for the 2630. You can see the tractor is starting to follow the ditch that we created, and it's following the curve. Once you get to the end of the ditch, you can stop and select the next ditch that you want to go to. Go to ditch track name, and in this case we want to go to surface drain number two. And now it shows up and illustrates and turns the ditch blue. In this case, we have found our second ditch it is illustrated as white 
the auto track button resume button had been hit and we now have our recording source on so we can illustrate and mark the ditch that we have dug so we are following the ditch track guidance line that was recorded with the elevation data the tractor is driving it and following it and we're also documenting the ditch that we have dug so we know how many we have left to dig and which ones we have dug now we have selected the next ditch and we're turning around to get on it we'll get within five feet of the ditch we will hit auto track once the machine captures it we will start driving it we turn our ditcher on now it is following the ditch and also documenting the ditch that we are digging And that is how you use Terracutta Elevation software to map your ditches and then export that as a ditching prescription file for a John Deere 2600 or 2630 display. Visit us at www.goldmanequipment.com and check out some of our other instructional YouTube videos.